Hello and welcome to our discussion on issues in accounting. The focus of uh, this session is the accounting treatment of deferred tax. Deferred tax is a tax on the timing difference and the timing difference arises because of the accounting assumptions being followed while computing accounting profit and tax profit. We know that accounting profit is during the generally accepted accounting principles, whereas the tax profit is determined by using the income tax provisions. Some of the causes for the difference in the accounting profit and the tax profit are temporary in nature and some are permanent in nature and deferred tax is an information for the shareholders that there are certain temporary differences while computing the taxable profit and accounting profit. One such item which is responsible for this temporary difference is the depreciation. In this example, we will focus our attention on one such difference that is depreciation and we will ignore the other differences which may happen while computing profit as per income statement and the profit as per the tax statement. So we have this hypothetical set of transactions for a period of five years. So we kept all transactions to be same except that depreciation is different. Depreciation for accounting is 20% SLM and depreciation for taxation is 50 percent by using reducing balance method. So we will try to understand the effect of those decisions on the income statement, cash flow, balance sheet and the tax statement. Started business with 10, 100,000. So capital business started and um, that is a corresponding source for the business. Purchase plant on credit. So acquisition of an asset resulted in creation of a liability plant supplier. And we are purchasing stock every year worth of 50,000 and selling them for 200,000. And the only other expense is the OPEX of 35,000. So sales for the period, before sales, let us do the purchases. Purchases of the stock is uh, 50,000. And whenever you purchase, the purchase will appear in the stock but since by the end of the period we are selling off the stock the stock is becoming zero and the entire stock is sold for 200,000 and the stock sale is for cash and that is an inflow of cash the receipt and income supported by cost of goods sold and the reduction of stock to that extent. The operating expense, the OPEX for the period is 35,000 and OPEX is an expense and the payment. Purchase plant worth of purchase plant on credit 200,000 and which is an asset and the corresponding supplier appears on the balance sheet. 
now we can find the profit before tax and profit before tax is equal to 75,000, 200,000 minus 75,000. But to calculate the tax on this profit before tax, we need to observe the tax statement. And in the tax statement, all incomes and all expenses are same as the income statement except that depreciation the depreciation in accounting is 20 percent on the cost whereas depreciation for taxation is 50 percent of the cost so the taxable profit is equal to 15,000 because 200,000 minus the allowable expenses assuming that there are no other deductions the taxable profit is 15,000 whereas the profit before tax is accounting profit is 75,000 so accounting profit is not same as the taxable profit in this case because of depreciation being different 40,000 and 100,000 respectively so according to the accounting standard the tax has to be calculated on the taxable income and the deferred tax is required to be calculated on the difference between the depreciation as per accounting and depreciation as per taxation in this case it is 100,000 minus 40,000 which is called a timing difference but the tax payable will be current tax will be paid and deferred tax will appear on the balance sheet as a liability. But a question should definitely be uh, is there which is what is this deferred tax liability? Is this a liability like creditor, like loans, like current tax payable? that requires an understanding of the very nature of the deferred tax liability. So with this our balance sheet for the first year gets closed because we find the profit after tax is PBT minus CT minus DT and we retain the entire profit and we find the cash in hand and cash in hand will appear on the asset side of the balance sheet. So we can see that deferred tax is because of the timing difference and deferred tax liability balance sheet. In the second year all the transactions are same even this depreciation rates but depreciation for accounting uh, for taxation is on the opening balance so in account in the second year all the transactions in same will let us just observe the changes in the deferred tax only the taxable income is not equal to accounting income accounting profit is 75,000 but the tax profit is different because of the depreciation so once again there is a deferred tax and the deferred tax is because of the difference in the depreciation and the deferred tax liability increases from 18,000 to 21,000 because of the current deferred tax the same is the case for the next three years too. So let us see all the items of all three years at a time. To get a better picture about the deferred taxes and deferred tax liabilities, we can see that the depreciation each year in, in taxation is decreasing, whereas depreciation in accounting is same. However, the total depreciation under accounting 200,000 is same as total depreciation under taxation 200,000. 
But we can see that from the third year onwards, depreciation in taxation, tax statement, is less than the depreciation in accounting. So there is a negative deferred tax. That means we are paying more than what is required to be paid as per the accounting. So that negative deferred tax will reduce the deferred tax liability appearing on the balance sheet for some time that can be shown on the asset side of the balance sheet too. So we can see that on the balance sheet the deferred tax goes on reducing and by the end of the fifth year the deferred tax liability is becoming zero. So deferred tax every year in the first two years, first year it is 18, then goes up because of the 3000 deferred tax and after that continuously it reduces because the deferred tax is negative. The deferred tax is negative because the expense in the tax statement under depreciation is lower than the expense in the uh, income statement. So deferred tax is the tax on the timing difference and this arises because of the accounting assumptions and accounting assumptions relating to depreciation, amortization, cost of goods sold will be responsible for the deferred tax on the financial statement. So deferred tax is an additional information provided by the management to the shareholders sharing, conveying an important message that the, the management is following two different methods or assumptions with respect to depreciation and other possible items. So deferred tax is an additional piece of information to the shareholder. Is this, defer, is this information about the deferred tax useful or relevant that requires to undertake, undertake the relevant studies by examining the relationship between deferred tax and the share price or other financial performance indicators? Thank you very much.